Welcome back. This is Dog, and we are going to try to get another uh, fishing session in here. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. We're going to start off, I think, at that bream spot again that we had tried. Well, we've tried several, but we're going to go back to one in particular. Give it another shot. Um, change up the baits a little bit. See if we can get anything going. I think moving forward, what I would like to do is focus on getting the silver to make a third feeder rig. Um, the Lacerti Asteria combination like we've done on the first two. Or something like that. And then um, once we kind of have that gear set up, I think we need to move into continue to do a little bit of ground bait here and there but really move into pretty focused leveling up our bait does this look right <coughs> I think it was up here because we're kind <coughs> of casting down into the bottom of that five meter hole, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so let's let's do the third one first, because I know I want pearl barley on this one. And uh, a 12 hook pearl barley. With the pearl barley, we're actually going to go with a little larger hook. Now we're going to clip at 25. I, truthfully, there's very little chance we're going to heave this thing out that far, but it might have just gone 25, to be honest with you. All right, and then what do we want here? Depends on what bait we're putting on here. We could do maggots on this one. start that way now we probably can't heave this 25 meters Let's see what pearl barley caught because we might put pearl barley on a second one if this is a decent decent fish as soon as I get the line settled. I'll talk more about what we want to do while we're focusing on crafting baits pretty soon in this series. Oh, that is a bream. So let's see if, um, test oatmeal a little bit. Alright, so what size hook do we want with oatmeal? Maybe we do go with an 8. We definitely want ground bait. Let's clip it. Let's see if oatmeal does anything in this spot. I think we could go even smaller hook with maggots and still catch decent sized bream. I mean, I sometimes I think the bait you're using matters more on hook size than uh, than anything else. Well, if 
float mill doesn't do anything, then these other two baits we're using right now seem to be working pretty well. So, but obviously we want to replace this third rig so we can be efficient. Because if we find us, as we find spots that are really good, we want to be able to catch the fish a little better. And you can see that's just like a tiny little bream, and it already feels like it's taxing this rig a little bit. So the idea here is, first of all, we get to semolina, and then soon after that, garlic dough. And, and this, this is just where we want to be, right? And then cheese comes not too far, cottage cheese, another really good bait. Pea porridge at times is really good. Egg dough I've never really used much, but I think the goal here should be, after we get our third rig set up, let's put a lot of silver resources into getting up to pieces of fish. That's really the goal, and I'll show you kind of where, well, we'll look at this in a minute. Might as well catch the fish while they're on, and we can talk about bait while we don't have a fish on. All right, let's see if maggots did anything here. Really small, huh? Let's give them another chance. Right now, it looks like pearl barley is catching the biggest bream, but even those are small. And oatmeal hasn't done anything. So what we're looking at with getting the fish pieces is 50%. Um, and it, that takes a good bit of resources, to be honest. So if you don't focus it, you'll, it'll take you forever to get there. But if you do focus on it, it's not too bad. And it really pays off because when we get to quarry, oh, fish got away. Let's see what that was on. Probably on the maggots then, huh? All right. I think we're going to switch this over to pearl barley, and I think I like that size 8 hook for the pearl barley. We'll give oatmeal a little bit longer to soak, just make sure it doesn't surprise us. Oh, we're out of 8s. Can we try a 6? At least until we can switch the other one. We'll switch the back one to a smaller hook. And I'm thinking I'm, either maggots or worms, I'm actually thinking. Maybe worms on this one. Let's try worms for a bit. Smaller hook with worms. If nothing else, we'll catch rough through the night. And we can make a little bit of silver on rough. I didn't check cafe orders, but if we happen to get lucky on cafe orders, that would be good. But I'd rather have that eight on... on the bigger line. I don't think oatmeal is going to do anything here. So what do we want to switch that to? I don't know if we want three pearl barley. Oh, actually, that would just be two pearl barley because we just put worms on the third one. So maybe that's what we want to do. Two pearl barley. We really give the bream a chance here. Or do we want to do maggots? The bream are also biting on the maggots, but it's just been so small so far. Oatmeal has been soaking for a while, though. And nothing. goes let's see what we got here what in the world
what is eating the oatmeal that's this big? This is on 16 friction brake. I didn't take oatmeal off. What is that? Is that just a bream? Why was it pulling so hard on the line? That was kind of weird, to be honest. Uh, I don't get it. Okay. I'm not sure why it pulled the line like that. It really did, though. Let's check this. I think we do want to turn this into eight hook. I don't think six hook for Breen makes sense. Eight seems to be a better spot. Now that's a roach. But at this point, we just need silver. I'll take anything that's a marker. We'll see how long oatmeal goes between bites. It may just be too slow, but that did catch a good marker bream right off the bat. bat. Worms caught bream as well. But if we can level up baiting, bait crafting, start getting things like garlic dough and cheese in our options of baits, in the long run, we'll make so much more silver. And so, it may feel a little, um, just difficult to spend that much silver on that long, sort of just for focusing on bait instead of gear, but the return on investment really will be there. times where it's like at these lower level lakes should we just have worms in the water all the time when you're leveling at least oatmeal again I hope it doesn't snap wow well The way that felt, I'm guessing it was a bream. And we just lost it. My, it may or may not have been a marker though, because that rig is so light. got a gibble too. Again, it's a marker. We'll take it. Hmm. Wow. That's a nice one. Nice XP. It'll be nice silver. 
Good fish. I was kind of expecting with that size hook on worms to catch more rough on the um, back, back rig here, but it may just be that this bream spot has so many bream in it right now that that's primarily what's even getting regular worms. You know, this isn't the fastest bite rate I've ever seen, but it's not bad either. Like, this seems to be a pretty good spot. If you're, you know, level 12 or a little higher at Old Berg, I've been pretty impressed with this spot a couple times I've been here. And I did hear from somebody that, uh, and now they're a little higher level, so they're able to do a few things that you can't do on this level account. But they did catch a trophy bream in this spot. So there are trophies in the water. Trophies in the water. Maybe this will be a rough here on the third line. Hmm. Another pretty good one. Marker, I would say. Maybe we'll get lucky on the uh, Bream Cafe order. That would be nice. Another thing I would say about this spot, wow, it's great, is that um, at least here at nighttime, our percentage of markers have been good ever since it hit like, you know, past 10 or 11 p.m. Maybe this will be a nice rough. We don't want this to be a bream. We want this maybe a white bream, but we don't want it to be a regular bream at all. Uh. Huh. That was not our first choice as well. I don't know that I've kept a close eye on it. Maybe the oatmeal is uh, a little slower bite than the pearl barley. Are we getting two fish on pearl barley per one on oatmeal? At least right now, of course, the number one bait on these bream is the uh, um, garlic dough. Now, here's an exciting sign, um, at least for higher level. Someone caught a really nice bream at Volkov on pearl barley. Now, that is exciting to me. I do love me some bream fishing at Volkov, and it hasn't it hasn't been super good lately. So if it's starting to pick up, that's a good sign. Right, this is a small fish, whatever it is. Let's 
check the worm. Nope. line on this rig what why do we have the wrong line on that rig did we put it on this line no did I never put it on at all what happened I could have sworn I bought am I losing my head I know we bought some more line Let me get this fish in. Maybe I put it on the other uh, Sorrento line? Goodness, I don't know. We gotta figure that out. No wonder that bream felt like it was a truck. It was the line, and not the reel, the line. What is this? It's pulling. One last attempt to go back to home base there. Ah, oh, barely a marker, I love it. I just don't understand. We've got braid on that. Wow. If I did purchase it, it's gone now. Somehow. Okay. Everybody at the same time now. Huh, it's a pretty good fish. Pretty good fish. Might be a, I don't know, 1.5 kilo bream, something like that. Whatever it is, it's worn out now. Yeah, it's a bream. It's got a little girth to it. Yeah. I like it. Uh, it's been fun trying the oatmeal. It is just too slow, though. It is just too slow. At least in this, at least in this location. Um, the worm's almost been better, hasn't it? has almost been better overall
Well, we're a little over 13 and a half now, level-wise. I guess before we end this episode, one way or another, we need to go ahead and, if we have enough silver, make sure we get that line. Because that's just silliness. That is just silly town. I wonder I wonder what it'd be like like around here trying to cast into this hole for Bream or even like towards this island. I used to really like that spot uh, from the main island, but of course you'd be a lot closer from this side to get it. So I don't know. longer do we stay in this spot looks like they're kind of going back to normal undersized weight now that the night's over at least a higher percentage of them will be so maybe we go fish like in this spot up here I don't know that I've fished there yet on this series at least not in a long time so maybe we'll go try that with some maggots worms and I don't know what else. Not potatoes. I don't feel like getting spooled tonight. If you're going to fish potatoes with this level gear, you probably just do it in the pond so you can... Good grief. We're losing so many fish on this rig tonight. Well, I guess that's is that two or three. It's a decent hook. Everything else is pretty low quality, but... If this is a keeper, we might put lines back in the water one more time. If it's not a keeper, we're out of here. And by keeper, I meant bream, not roach. Yeah, we're out of here. Let's see what this is, though. Little bream. Okay. All right, let's go find this spot over here in the corner. We'll get a little bit more fishing in before we have to wrap this one up. Yeah, I don't, and I don't know where the best spot would be to try to cast. Yeah, it wouldn't be there. We're going to fish is right here. All right, let me think about this. We want worms. Worms, maggots, and bread, maybe? A uh, much smaller clip. least sure about the bread there we'll see so it kind of be from this spot right you fish for tench here obviously because of all that stuff but 
kind of throwing right to the edge of that island. At least from the mainland to that spot. Sometimes that's a pretty decent bream spot, so I don't know. I've never tried it from over here, so... can catch some pretty big fish here. I mean, this is definitely a spot where you can get in trouble with low-level gear. But I don't think we have anything other than the maggots. Maggots, you just never know. I guess worms, too. Hopefully we won't get into, like, a big common carp on those maggots. There's a Chinese sleeper. Let's switch this up. Let's do maggots here. Maybe worms or peep, maybe pearl barley on this one and just catch like crucians and stuff. I think pearl barley were pretty safe from big stuff, right? Let's see how this goes. Occasionally a common carp might get on pearl barley, but it's pretty rare. Let's just see what the bite rate's like. This is, again, one of those, like, volume fishing spots. But but some of the fish can get a little bigger here, seems like. So, and you don't have the pond to protect you from getting spooled. I'm not sure if bread is going to ever catch us, like, if it's going to be very exciting. It might just be a lot of gibbles, crucians, and roach. I think we want to have bait on here that at least has a chance of grabbing a tench, because the tench do sometimes move through this spot. This is all maggots. Nice gibble. Maggots just might be the winner in this spot in terms of decent bite rate, but also can bring the tension. What is a roach, I guess? What if we did bread on this instead of pearl barley? Is that silliness? Could be. We could get something too big for this little rig in this spot, but we'll see. to try for I mean both in terms of silver and experience tench are just really nice one of the few fish that we can be pretty safe with with this level gear that actually does give you a ton of reward Common carp on my bread. Ugh. Well, that's a sign, isn't it? That's what you don't want to get on, at least not on, not on the very starter rig. I mean, it might be worth biting a common carp, especially in the pond. 
with a little bit bigger rigs, but. See what we're doing with worm here. Worm might be the safer option on this rig. do have premium though you can definitely get some shortcuts I mean you know remember you can trade someone for cheese like you could purchase them a hook or something they want that's sort of an equitable price and have them trade you cheese or you know garlic dough I mean whatever bait you're wanting to use that will help you get help you target fish a little bit that is scary. There's a scary sound. Well, we might have to end this episode right here. <laughs> Might have to just Alt F4 this episode right over. So there's a pretty good chance that's a common carp. Of course, you don't normally want to point your reel down like this. But I am, right now, I am completely okay if that sucker pops off. I'd rather not lose the... I'd rather not have to Alt F4 or lose the, uh, the feeder and everything. We just don't have the strength to slow it down very much. It's kind of just doing whatever it wants right now. Listen to that thing burn. there's any chance we could like still wear it out at this point I think it's just going to catch its second wind and we're going to have to alt F4 sometimes if you can turn them you know it's just like they lose their uh Momentum, it seems like, and you can kind of get it heading back, but this fella is bound and determined to wreck us. All right. Well, that's one way to go down in flames. When silver is so tight, though, 
I just do not like <clears throat> do not like losing the hook and the leader. I mean the hook and the feeder at that point. And that was on maggots, right? That spot's just a little scary. You're sitting there with that island right in front of you. Either way, they're going to run. And they've got so much room to run. Maybe a, just another reason why fishing in that pond is just the safer play. It's really hot in terms of bite rate. You're not missing out on bite rate. You can still catch pretty decent fish in the pond, but you don't get spooled as easily. If you know what you're doing, you can kind of wait them out a little bit. Wish we had gotten a tench, but we never did find those. Right, let's see if we made any silver at all today. 42 is not bad. Yeah, those bream really help. Considering we never did get on the tench, the bream kind of salvaged that... Uh, salvage that fishing session okay thank you for watching i appreciate it and uh, we will try to do this again soon i am really enjoying leveling this account sort of one little step at a time and figuring out what to do to uh, try to make it as efficient as possible but i hope to see you next time thanks again